you with my monthly favorites for December. Um, I have a beautiful basket of things that we are going to go through today. So without further ado, let's get started. I just want to take a minute as well to mention to you guys, I'm still doing my 100 subscriber giveaway. Um, I know you guys are going to get tired of hearing this, but I want to give back to you guys for helping me out reach my goals. So if I can get 100 subscribers by January 30th, I will be giving away a gift card of $100 to the winner's choice. Um, it can be whatever you want. It doesn't have to be makeup. It seriously can be whatever. It doesn't matter at all. All you have to do is be subscribed to my channel by January 30th and everyone who is subscribed, if we hit 100, will be entered in the draw. So stay tuned and keep watching and let's get into the video. So I do have um, a non-beauty favorite on my list today and that would be a artist actually, an EDM artist that I've been really loving this month. Um, I've discovered a lot more of his music and I honestly... If I'm in a bad mood, no matter what I do, I will just listen to it and it honestly just like completely flicks a switch in my brain and I, I smile, like I get happy. It's amazing and I'm sure you've heard of him. If you haven't, well you've probably been living under a rock, no offense, but it's Martin Garrix. He's three time number one DJ in the entire world and his music is just amazing and just watching him perform like his energy, you can tell he's so passionate about what he does and it's just, it's fantastic, honestly, like the guy is amazing and I'm really hoping, it's one of my goals in 2019 to go see him live because it's just, it's an experience that I think I would never ever be able to top in regards to the concert field other than going to Tomorrowland. So that is definitely something that interests me. I'm going to link his YouTube channel below so you guys can see, but honestly, like his music is amazing. If you're in a bad mood, you just need to listen to it and automatically you're like, done. So that would be like my non-beauty favorite of the month. So now getting into my beauty favorites, so we are going to grab my wonderful bucket here that I have full of goodies. Um, the first one I'm going to talk about is a little pricey, but it is my guilty pleasure now. Um, it is the Brazilian Crush from Sol de Janeiro Body Spray. I'm not a big fan of their body lotion. It smells good, but I don't find that it like firms or anything of that sort. But the body spray definitely is my favorite and my husband loves it too and he's very picky and never likes anything that I put on so when he decided that he liked it I was like no sold because I like it too so we are gonna continue to buy this it is a little pricey I'm in Canada and it is forty forty dollars a bottle if I'm not mistaken I will link it below at Sephora um, but it totally smells good if you really like coconut and pineapple and just like beachy smells it is amazing and it lasts all day that's one thing I love about it, and I, I honestly, it's, it's my guilty pleasure, and I will probably continue to buy it, unfortunately. <laughs> Moving on. The next thing I have in my bucket here is the It's a Ten Leave-In Miracle product. I've been using this for a few months now. Um, I love it. It makes my hair so soft. It makes my hair moisturized. It makes my hair not be like before my hair used to always break and fall out and I don't have a lot of hair as you can see to begin with so and I have a bird habit of dying a lot so <laughs> this is honestly like my guardian angel for my hair. I absolutely love this stuff. I got it from my local salon. Um, I will link it down below as well. Um, what this product claims to do is repairs dry damaged hair, adds shine, detangles, controls fridge, frizz, seals and protects hair color, prevents split ends, stops hair breakage, creates silkiness, enhances natural body, flat iron spray, and thermal protection. And that's a big one for me too because a lot of the times I forget to spray in thermal protection before I go to straighten my hair. So this stuff is honestly like my savior. I absolutely love it and I will be definitely repurchasing it when my bottle f is done. So the next product I want to talk about here is a makeup product. It is the Rosé All Day Palette by Carity. If I'm pronouncing that properly, if not, I'm really sorry. Um, I got this about, I want to say a month and a half ago. And I really did play with it quite a bit in December because my favorite eyeshadows are pinks or purples, as you can see I'm wearing right now. Um, now this palette comes with 15 different shades. The names are all on them, on the paper. No, they're on them. They are on them. 
So these are the shades that come in the palette. They're pinks and gold tones, and there's a few browns, and I absolutely love this one up here in the corner. Um, I, I've i never been a neutral person when it comes to eyeshadows. I don't know why, but I just don't like it. And so for me, if something doesn't pop, then it's not worth it. So I absolutely love this palette because I have even played with the golds and the browns a little bit too, and I actually don't mind them that much. So definitely a nice palette. Um, the only problem is their shipping to Canada is ridiculously expensive and everything on their website is in US prices. So I mean for me, I put an order through, I got this, I got five lipsticks and I think it ended up costing me like $70, which was ridiculous. So I don't know if I'll be ordering from them again, but definitely really like their products and if you're in the US, I would say give it a shot because I see lots of times too they have free shipping on their products. So definitely recommending this and if you like pinks a lot like I do, then it is a perfect palette for you. So the next thing on my list is a skincare product and it is the Body Shop's Daily, Cle Daily Glow Cleansing Polish. Now I hauled this in my Body Shop haul just before Christmas. I have been using it nonstop every morning since, like I literally can't wait to wash my face when I wake up. It smells so good, it smells like oranges and it really wakes me up when I use it. And it honestly, it has cleaned out all my pores, like my makeup goes on amazing now and even though it is a scrub, I just use it every morning because it wakes me up. I definitely will be repurchasing this and I will be going more into detail with it in my Bath and Body Works I hauled it but did I like it haul which will be coming out in about I want to say two weeks now because I've been using all the products and you will get more information on this for sure through it because I absolutely fell in love with this even if I've only been using it for two weeks. The other product from the body shop that I've really been liking is their seaweed oil control gel cream. Um, I put this on every morning when I wake up and honestly my makeup goes on no problem. My makeup stays on all day. I have very oily skin like in my t-zone so if I put makeup on and I don't put on a proper primer or I don't put on lotion properly then it starts to cake and just looks really gross. This stuff stops this honestly it really does. Um, Again, I've been using it for two weeks, and I absolutely love this stuff. It is a godsend. It is like putting a primer underneath your primer for your skin to stop the oil from coming down. So I would highly suggest this for anyone who has oily skin and has problems with their makeup caking from the oils coming out. So the next things I'm going to talk about are products from Reunique, and I know you're thinking, oh my god, she probably sells the stuff. No, I actually don't. I have no interest in selling any makeup things like that. Um, the products are the foundation that they have. I also have a splash liquid lipstick and it is in the color, I can't remember, one sec, in the color Stellar and that's actually what I'm wearing on my lips right now and it goes with everything. No matter what I put on, I absolutely love it. And the third product I have is their Moonstruck Mascara. Um, I, I can't say enough good things about this stuff. Like, honestly, I was super skeptic at first. I bought, when I bought the foundation, I got it in a kit with the primer and the, uh, it was the primer, the foundation, and the, and the, excuse me, the primer, the foundation, and the concealer. And, I mean, I'm not a big fan of the foundation. It's alright, but, I mean, it's not anything special. Neither is the primer to me. But this foundation, like, a little bit goes a long way. I put literally the teeniest drop on my finger and dab it underneath my eye with my finger and it, it's amazing. I love it. It's so awesome and it stays on all day. It doesn't crease. It doesn't budge. Like, it doesn't do anything. It's amazing. And for this lip color, like I said, it, could go, it goes with everything. Every single thing. If I'm wearing purple on my eyes like I am today... It goes with that. If I'm wearing pinks on my eyes, it goes with that. If I'm wearing neutrals on my eyes, it goes with that. It is really an awesome product. And I've been having a really hard time lately with mascaras that are making my eyes cry a lot. And I just, it's been nuts. And I got the Moonstruck one and it has never done that to me yet. And I've been using it for about two months now. So I can honestly say this mascara is amazing if you have sensitive eyes because 
I normally don't, but with mascara, that's the only thing that bothers my eyes really bad. Like, I tried the, unfortunately, Deco Scarlet Mascara. They're uh, sexy as AF mascara, and it just made my eyes cry. It made my eyes itchy, irritated, so... Honestly, I cannot say enough good things about these three products from Unique. I'm not one to try things like that normally, um, just sales products. I'm not one to try normally sales products like that, but I honestly have so many good things to say about these three products that I, I want to spread the word. And like I said, I'm not selling them. I actually have my mom who sells them, so I will be linking her website down below. And definitely, I would suggest trying them out, like I said, if you want something where a little bit goes a long way like this stuff is amazing like I've been using it religiously for a month and a half now and I've barely made a dent in the bottle so I mean it is a little bit more expensive but it is totally worth it and this lipstick like I said if you're starting out and you don't know what kind of lipsticks you like yet this goes with everything so I would pick it up just for the sole fact that if you don't have a lipstick that matches your look that day you can probably throw this on and it'll totally work for you and like I said if you have sensitive eyes or you have problems with mascaras definitely try this out and the lashes look amazing with it as well so I'm going to link that down below and I would highly suggest you trying them out because they are just fantastic products and the last product I'm going to talk about on this list is from the body shop again I am obsessed with them I am so sorry I am sure you are tired of hearing about them I I just I can't stop like this stuff is amazing so what I'm holding here is their shea shower cream and the shea body butter in the huge container because <laughs> it was on sale you know me I like my sales so this stuff is amazing like normally I used to use Bath and Body Works all the time because it smelled really good but then I get out of the shower and my skin would like honestly like crack and be horrible and if you're like me in the winter time your skin just hates life and hates everything that has to do with winter and cold then I would highly suggest you try this line because it is amazing I constantly have little ones of these all over the place that I reach for for my hands especially and it has done better things for my hands than like hand creams have it's crazy and I use this in the shower and when I get out like my skin does not crack it is actually not dry and it does not hurt and I know that sounds weird but that's really bad for me in winter and what happens and it really 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 is a horrible experience so I would highly suggest you try out the shea line from them if you are having winter skin problems like I do as always, if you like this video, please subscribe and don't forget to click the bell button so you're notified when I have new videos out. As well, give this video a like if you did like this. And if you have any products or any questions about anything that I mentioned today, please leave a comment down below. And if you have any ideas for future videos or anything that you would like to see me review or try, please, 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 please comment down below and let me know. And again, thank you guys so much for watching Makeup Junkies. Until next time, love you guys. Bye.